The first one on four. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be sick, dudes. We are out on Lake Fork. We're out here with Jared and Devin. We're gonna have us a good old time. He has driven up from Austin. We took the two hour drive from our place and we're gonna spend the next couple days here. We booked us a little room. We even got us a boat slip so we can get out bright and early tomorrow, hit that morning bite. Today we got here at about 11.37, so we might have to just head straight out deep, do some flipping, see what happens. See what happens, man. Completely new to us. We hear this place can be a little intimidating the first time out, especially if you got a new boat that you're all worried about, but we should be okay. Stump or two or five or 10 or 20. Hopefully we get on some big fish, man. That is absolutely the goal. Check this out, you would not believe. My buddy Tate, dude. We worked together at Valet before I got furloughed. I haven't been back to work in some time. He texted me this morning. Dude, he literally said 9.74 new PB for me on Lake Fork. I'm like, are you kidding me? We haven't talked, and then all of a sudden you hit me up with like a 10 pounder the day that we're driving down? Anyways, sounds like the bite's on, man. They caught a couple on chatterbait, spinnerbaits, some small ones, and then I think he said the uh, Bama Bandito Bug, Texas Rigged, is what he got flipping a lay down that 9.74, dude. So maybe today is the day. Jared brought out all his big baits. Show, show him a couple of the big baits, dude. This is ridiculous. We got. I don't even know. We got the Hinkle Trout. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, we're going to throw around some of the DRT Ghosts, with some different tails to go with them. Woo! Some custom painted ones. And then we're also going to toss around this 10 inch freestyle trout. Yeah, this is, like the, this is like the small bait in this box, is the 10 incher. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a good day. I hope we get on some bigs. Oh, that's the goal, man. Let's go ahead and load up, get the rods, get the gear situated, and we are going to go ahead and take off. I guess we got one of these slips over here, y'all. Dude, I'm, I'm like sketched out because there's trees everywhere. It's like, do you even, what the heck? This place is nuts. Yeah. We're kind of just identifying this one little point, guys, that we want to hit. It goes from shallow to deep right here, close to the marina, just launched, and we're seeing stumps all over the place. Uh, you guys need to tell me what to do. Like, do you keep the motor trimmed up or do you just run it down? And I don't even know. I don't even know. All I know is this looks sketchy up here and we're probably gonna start casting into it. Let's go. Starting things off with the Battle Shad 7.5, y'all. So if I cast that way, I'll see my bait dropping down? You should. It just depends on, uh, there's a couple variables, but yeah. You gotta be like right on it though. You know what I mean? Like if it's not facing that direction. Let me show you this. This is the new shit. The down view is like the traditional, mm -hmm. but this little bracket just came out mm -hmm. and now you can twist it into what's called perspective. And that's where you like, for shallow water, it's good. So now you tilt it horizontal and now it's scanning left to right. So it's not good for deep water. It won't even really pull much up. But in the shallow water like this, it's gonna switch over automatically here and <clears throat> switch to perspective view. What? Yeah, it's nuts, dude. So let me turn this down a little bit. What's the radius or how far out is that going? It, you adjust it. So right now it's on 30 foot range. That's a fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's swimming right here. And it's, so it's looking wherever your trolling motor's looking, right? Mm, there's some fish. Yeah. Oh, a lot of fish, bro, bro, bro. What? Look, where's that at? Jay? Right in front of the boat, right here on the street. Right nope, they're running off of it. They were literally all just on it. <laughs> Insane. I don't know if you follow or so. Bait. Fifteen feet down. Mm -hmm. I wonder if spot lock works under a bridge. I guess it's. It should. Right, but it's like satellite type of stuff. So I wonder if there's interference and it's gonna say, "Oh, I was over here." All right, y'all, we pulled a fast one. We had got to get into the shade, man. It is so hot out. It is like 100 degrees right now. Well, it says 92, but I'm sure the feels like with no wind is like 100. We got cars driving over us and we got fish underneath us, man. Let's get to casting. Pan over it again if you can. Whoa. There's some stuff swimming under them. That's so cool. I'm gonna throw the shaky head you had on. I think that's more so appropriate. we're right on it right now. Yeah, we must be. Yeah, we're, we must be on it, shit. I'll take another. Uh, yes. No way. Oh Lord! All right, all right, all right. Woo! On the bridge, dude. Let's go. Say <laughs> <laughs> Come on. 
All right, dude. First one on fork if he brings it in. First one on fork. Oh, that's what's up. All right, what is that? A fat five right there? No way. Dude, on the drop. <laughs> This is a solid five, right? That, that's gotta be. It's a little short, but it's so fast. Woo! So fat. All right. First fork fish. Where's the scale? First fork fish. We're hyped. Dude, it's like the tiniest bump. I was like, wait, wait. And I reeled down on it. It was like, I sat on it. I was like, God, it's a fish. No <laughs> way. <laughs> that's why you come out here, man. This ain't Ding City. That's so funny. First fish of the day here. is solid. Four, Fourteen. Yeah, not ounces. So four. Now it's four twelve. It's still settling. Hey, 410. Yeah, 410 is good. All right, 410. Nice. That's all right, first Look at those fish. Those bulging eyeballs, though. It's almost like it is that big fish. It's so weird. All right, man, it's about 12 o'clock. The heater is kicking back on, dudes. It is getting blazing hot. We found some stumps out here. Check us out. And we are just kind of uh, casting randomly into it. We did see on live scope some bigger fish at the bottom. They're just kind of hanging out the base of these trees, but they're just few and far between. We're just doing some Hail Marys, trying to get lucky out here. But that one fish we caught was on a uh, submerged bridge that uh, I guess probably used to run across the lake. I don't know what the deal is, but either way, kind of out here along that first bridge is where we actually caught that first fish. Run over to the bank and maybe catch an hour lunch break and just cool down and then get back out for that evening bite. It is now, if I haven't mentioned it yet, 2.51 in the afternoon. So we've been at it for about three hours in the heat. Let's get there, grab a little bite, come back out on the water. It is hot, dude. We're having a good old time. We luckily we found some shade. Y'all, BYOB in here. This place is legitimate, and the clouds are rolling in. A little bit of winds coming in. This could be a crazy top water bite tonight. We could be getting on them. We shall see what happens, man. The guy in the slip just a couple over from us was talking about having issues with his Garmin force as well. Paying top dollar for these trolling motors, dude. It's freaking ridiculous. I don't know if it's software, but the thing just turns itself off a of spot lock and decides to do 360s and crank the volume like all the way up. It's definitely not safe. With that being said, we might get back out on the water. I think it's gonna be an excellent evening bite. Loading back up for round two, man. Potential storms now. And uh, I'm switching over to Philippi's. We're both doing the same thing. Feel the cool breeze on the pinky toe. All right, y'all heading out of the slip for round two. Let's go ahead and get after him. There it is, dropping down. Ooh! Ooh. I got hit. Ooh. <laughs> Did you see that one go for it? Dude! All right, drop it down. Just drop it straight down. This guy's, this guy's, That's a, the one that hit look, it. look, come up, come up, come up, come up. Bring it. Yep, now let go. No way. Wait, wait, drop it, drop it, drop it. Dude, you're right on one. You're right on one. Pull it, pop it. Let it drop. Oh my God. Pop it. Dude, he hit it so hard. <laughs> Let me see if I can live scope this one. <laughs> and then you got him. We're putting live scope to the real test out here on Fort. I bounced it at one time and it was like, don't. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> not ready. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm coming up to him. I'm coming up to him. Oh, they're going I'm coming up to you. him. I'm coming up to him. Oh my God. Bite it. Bite it. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> It literally says stumps. <laughs> That's further up on that point though, where there's people fishing. Okay. So it's acting like it wants to spot lock now, but I bet you it's only gonna last a second. Let's yep, now it's just turning up. Now it's just turning up and doing circles. It's literally just turning up and doing circles, guys. Every time you go into spot lock. So, st and look, it's going up more now. We literally could hit a stump at any second and this could like tear up the boat. Pathetic, dude. 3,500 bucks, not really 35, but it's up there. It's more than an old tracks and you're gonna get a piece of that doesn't even keep you in a spot. Oh, they all split. There's still a few down there. Yeah, there's yeah, still a few. Go for it. You watching the video game action back there? Oh, I just went through a bunch of something. Oh, you're going right into them. Here we go, here we go. How are y'all doing? Oh! <laughs> Come on, I know you want Oh me. my God. They would be, do they not like this color? This is a, this is a lighter boat. Lighter boat. 
honestly, I probably should just throw a freaking jerk bait because it would dive a little bit. But at the same time, they're coming. They're coming up here. Sorry. It's like they're staying just far enough in front of the boat. I just saw another one out there. Look at this fork sunset, y'all. We're trying to get us a little fluke bite here in the last minutes. All right, y'all, with that gecko on the wall at the motel ends today's episode, man. The Lake Fork trip was absolutely amazing. Devin and I got skunked on the first day, but no, 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 don't worry. Hold on. One of us catches a new PB on day two, man. The trip was totally worth it. We had an absolute blast with Jared. Check his information out down in the description, you guys. And uh, just so you guys know, we wanted to hit this absolutely legendary lake and make a two-day trip because of how renowned the place is. Literally over 65% of Texas' largest 50 bass have been pulled out of this lake, as well as the current state record. The place is the bass fishing lake of the country. It is known around the world, man. And we absolutely had to get out to Fork for at least a couple days and learn the thing and and then go back with that knowledge and try and catch more fish in the future. Day two though, we turn things around you guys and it's coming tomorrow, man. One a day uploads, we'll see you then. Peace. <gasps>